Hi, so today I'm going to talk about how to do a proper statistical comparison between two biological groups. So I know I have a lot of code here, but you really only need this import, and then the actual calculation will only take one or two lines of code. Um, so we're going to do this in three simple steps. First, are your data normally distributed? And then if yes, we can do a t-test, and if no, we can do a u-test. So we're just going to import these modules. Again, the only one you really need is this, um, but I've just imported these to show you what's going on. And then for the first example, I'm just generating two lists of randomly distributed numbers with a mean of four and five, and just five samples. And I'm just plotting that here. So I just wanted to show a t-test first because that's what everybody wants to do. We can just simply do a t-test here with one line of code between group A and group B, which again are just lists of some numbers. And just to show as an example for people that aren't familiar with NumPy, you can really just supply lists of numbers. But in the real world, you're not going to know for sure if your samples are normally distributed. If you know they aren't, just skip this and go straight to the U-test. There are many cases where you know based on your data or your experiment that they won't be normally distributed. But if you're not sure, the Shapiro test is a good way to start. And let me just give an example here. I'm passing to the Shapiro test an actual normal distribution just to show you what the output is if it is a normal distribution. So here we see a p-value of 0.9. So when we do the Shapiro test, if it is a normal distribution, it should have a p-value of above 0.5, or 0 0.05, sorry. If it's not normally distributed, it'll have a p-value of less than 0 0.05. So for our next example, I'm just generating two lists of numbers again. And this time, instead of a normally distributed list, I'm doing a uniform random list just from 9 to 17 with the sample size of 20, and here from just 7 to 15 again with the sample size of 20. Let me just plot these. But if these were your samples, what you would want to do is do a Shapiro test on both lists of numbers. So we can do it on group A and on group B. But in this example, we see that group A isn't normally distributed. This says group B is possibly normally distributed. Um, so this is an important distinction here to make is that the Shapiro test, it might say they're normally distributed even if they're not. So it's not going to catch all the cases. Um, if you're not sure, maybe it's better to default to the Mann-Whitney U-test. But in any case, we know these aren't normally distributed. And the Shapiro test says that the, at least group A isn't normally distributed. So we can do this U-test, the Mann-Whitney U-test between group A and group B. And we see they are significantly different. And again, I just wanted to show, for those that might not know NumPy well, you can just supply lists of numbers both to the Shapiro test and to the Mann-Whitney U-test. So it's really that simple. Again, if your samples are normally distributed, use the T-test. If they're not, use the U-test. And then finally, I just wanted to show a quick example of a simple function that just takes two lists, x and y, and it tests if the p-value of x and the p-value of y, if either of them are greater than 0 0.05, so they, then that means they are normally distributed, and then it'll run a t-test on x and y. But if they're not, it'll run man written u test and so here i'm just passing two normal distributions and of course they're normally distributed so it picks the t test and it has a very significant p value and then this random distribution and we see that the random distribution of course is not normally distributed so it runs a man written u test so it's really simple but this is important you can really get dinged and, you know, I don't know, tests or if you're submitting papers and you don't do your statistics right. It's always important to do a test for normalcy. But in the end, actually running the t-test 
for the U-test in Python is super simple. It only takes one line of code. 